Ladies and gentlemen, Milio is on the live servers and this Korean, this Korean Soraka player is starting to spam Milio and she is absolutely, I mean, they are absolutely nasty. Already a 60% win rate on the champion, absolutely slaying the game on him. Playing together with King Zeri. Is every one trick? I don't need to tell you that. I still did. And uh, we're gonna have a look at this game where in the top lane we have a Sidroni facing off against Reddington. In the jungle we have a Lilia for the blue team facing off against a Kindred for the red team. And then the mid lane is going to be a Rumble facing off against a Talon for the blue team. And in the bot lane we have Zeri and Milio for versus Kaisa and Pike. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be quite the interesting match, of, of course. I'm going to bring a lot more Milio videos, because now he finally is out. We can kind of explore what he looks like and what he looks like when pros play him. Today we have a Korean a master player who is a enchanter main, so I think that is a really good place to start. I haven't been able to find any other pros playing him but so far this is already really good i'm very hyped for it and um yeah we're gonna see how exactly milio is able to influence this matchup i mean should be a pretty rough matchup to be honest um but i think with milio together it should be much much more winnable and um i want to see what zeri looks like with the milio enchantment so this is going to be very interesting as we are going to be starting out in the top lane here as the Lilia and the Kindred will be starting out with her bot lane. Which means that they are going to clear not synchronized but the opposite way of each other. Which means Lilia will arrive around 3 minutes in the bottom side of the map ready for a gank. Where now there would be a gank angle here for the Kindred could have some influence on that. We will see how exactly that goes. Zeri already trying to start out the lane with a good amount of poke and will gain the priority here of the lane. Pushes very deep though, which will affect the wave stacking up here and then potentially the red team being able to still acquire that level 2. But with the damage dealt here, I think now it is pretty sure. Level 2 goes over here to the blue team. It is about to come up, so we will see how exactly they play around it. It's a little bit difficult to punish something like the Pike who did use this hook though. So we are dealing a little bit of damage at least as level 2 will be picked up here by the red team now as well. And we will see how exactly the trades went. Um, I would say that the trades went pretty good here for the red team to be honest. Um, but we will see obvi obviously right Zeri still has a lot of potential here. But Zeri generally not necessarily the champion that does that much damage as Pike will be looking for a hook here. Will hit the Milio with the hook. Milio will go out and press W on himself actually to heal. And we are just ghosting down the Kai'Sa. And Kai'Sa will take a lot of damage. The hook lands on Milio once again, which doesn't really do much. Zeri tries to flash forward. Will unfortunately not get the kill on to the Kai'Sa here. And that was a very, very big slide here in the favor of the blue team in the course of this lane. We will see how it continues as let's pay some attention here to the rest of the map. And ladies and gentlemen, tell me what you like or how you like Milio so far. I think that he's absolutely busted. We haven't see, gotten to see him a lot played by super high elo players versus super high elo players though. So I'm really looking forward to what he's able to do, especially on something like the Korea together with something like the Guma Yushi. I'm absolutely hyped for it. We have to wait and yeah, we will have to wait a little bit for that, obviously as uh, these champions will come into pro a little bit later, I believe. As beautiful Q here, will tag and confirm the kill onto the pike, as now Zeri is moving in from behind, will take a lot of damage and will also go down, no melee shield available, as we are enchanting our team very well. And uh, quite a bit of damage here available already from the Lilia, who hasn't even gotten any items, but. Dude, she was, uh, she was dealing a lot of damage in that fight, hey? Very, very good. As Milio is going to try to cancel the recall. Yeah, we'll cancel the recall here of the... Very good play already. We'll cancel the recall here of the Rumble, which is very good. Talon needs to be 
very very careful here but this locks rumble into a suboptimal lane state which is very good rumble will be able to pick up a lot of farm here so that is the upside of it the downside obviously talon here open for a roam timing if he so chooses an invade timing or just to continue pushing in the wave onto this rumble who has quite a low amount of hp remaining so maybe a, yeah exactly that all in could create a beautiful flash by the rumble as he will trade that back Atelan will pick up the kill eventually and this all thanks to the milio very good play here already by mr milio more of a macro good play right less of a milio specific play that you can do but you know it is what it is is definitely something to take note and just shows how this was a good replay to select as this milio already having impact on the game and we will see if more is to come hopefully it is as uh, i think zeri should be pretty nasty together with the milio enchantment here Gonna get a good amount of DPS here. Yeah, we are enchanting your next auto attack. Will unfortunately not tag the enemy. Okay. That Q, I think, is not necessarily the way to go as... Ooh, we actually are... Oh my god, the Q range is huge. As we are actually finding a good trade here onto the Kai'Sa, even though the wave was pushing in. Very good. Now, no W available here for the Milio for the next 18 seconds. So do keep that in mind when looking at the trades. As here, the Ghost is pop, the Exhaust as well, though. Azeri will not find the kill, will find the kill onto the Kai'Sa, barely. But Kai'Sa does manage to get the trade back by the Pike here, as Lilia now showing up to the Fiesta. And Lilia does benefit from the enchantments of Milio as well, so this should be pretty nice. But we are deciding not to fight this. As Melio will just have to maintain the wave and just stay here. Auto attacking, very important. Learn how to CS, even as a support. Sometimes you will have to. In situations like this, comes in very handy. As he will, yeah, he will wait until the last second. Until the killing auto attack is already in the air. To get that, in order to not push the wave. Very important as well. Kaisa, I'm gonna place a reasonably defensive ward just outside of the range of the control ward here. Shame. Absolute shame. Pike will spot out the uh, control ward here, probably. Definitely spot out this control ward, though. And they spot out the pike, which uh, opens up another good amount of damage here for the Zeri, as Zeri will find the Kaisa out of position. Bit of sloppy play here out of the Kaisa positioning yourself like that but that's totally fine it's totally fine it's the kaisa you know she's i mean you run into her eventually she's uh, gonna find a lot of damage onto you right it's pike w looks absolutely beautiful and the milio shield comes in quite a bit of damage available as we are looking for the fight here onto the kaisa so far a lot of damage taken here by the Zeri. The thing is that the wave is in their favor, so they can just push it out and leave if they want to. They elect to not, though. As Extendo Beam will tag the Kai'Sa, I think, there. But they are recalling now. It's a little bit late to recall, but they do manage to get it in time. As Milio will be going for the Bandle Glass Mirror here. Technically not a very good item to take. Components don't really mirror the value of this item so better to get the kindle gem in theory but it is what it is you know um it's very nitpicky obviously but still important nitpick i would say you know and we are going to find a beautiful power slide here unfortunately not finding the cancel onto the kaisa that would have been absolutely huge locking kaisa into that lane as we are actually, I didn't really notice that, uh, but we are running Relic Shields, so just like people do it on Soraka. Running the Relic Shields in order to be able to share and heal a little bit more during the laning phase. And it doesn't pressure you into tagging the enemy with spells. So not a bad option here. Especially versus a pike where you have to think about walking up. 
Um, important interactions, right? Milio Ball can obviously cancel the Pike E in a way where it can knock him back. It can also, which is even more important, it can also stop his Q. And I think that is the like the Q cast, right? And I think that is the most important um, part here is that Milio is a formidable defensive uh, champion, which is very good against Pike. Also decent against Kaisa, obviously, who does kind of want to play in a diving in kind of manner. Lilia, not going to tag the Q. We are looking for a little bit of damage here. Ghost is popped by both. But yeah, looking for that isolation damage. Kaisa will do a lot of damage here. But now the Zeri ultimate is activated and the flash for flash. The exhaust will come out of the enemy team here as well. And Zeri will not be able to pick up a kill onto the Kaisa yet. As the Ghost now is activated by the Zeri and she will look for the kill but does not get it. As Pike will manage to actually, yeah, just hit the stun there. But it is a one for one trade of both of the AD carries. How much Milio can do in this case as he has stayed out of trouble very well. Zero and zero four. A very, very enchanter like stats. Very safe. Just ready to help out wherever he can as we will see whether or not he is going to elect to influence the map a little bit or just stay with his AD carry. I think Milio definitely favors the fact that you can enchant one target that is, you know, a melee champion. Mm, very well too. Like something like Talon definitely benefits from Milio enhancement. So maybe we could look for something there, right? A little bit of extra range goes very far on something like the Talon as well, even though the range isn't going to be huge. Just a little bit of added range on Talon is already huge. Lilia is going to find the ultimate here as the Kindred is going to use her ultimate to trade that back. And we are still looking for the fight here, weirdly enough. I would have called that off, but we are super greedy as Talon is ready for the fight. And the Lydia will actually be able to pick up a kill for herself on to the Kindred and also get out alive. The Pike's roam has been punished as Milio will find himself back in the bot lane. Here the dive now onto the Sijuani is commencing and she will go down without much counterplay available to herself. As we will pan down to the bottom lane and have a look what exactly is going on here as the Milio damage... We'll tag the Kai'Sa, not too bad, not too good, right? Not a lot of damage available for him, but also not too terrible. As the Shirildas is definitely the item of the hour on Milio. A lot of people are building it nowadays, so we will see how exactly that works out for them, as the Rumble will not find a roam here. Ultimate in hand, he will have to walk back into the mid lane eventually. I'll just recall and go back to base first, which I find questionable this recall. It is going to allow the Talon for a lot of... Yeah. A lot of roam opportunity here. Mm. But I mean, yeah, what, what do you do, right? Rumble playing the map a little bit questionably. I will be honest with you. It questionably indeed. Ike will be exposed. And... Just take a little bit of damage as ooh, the Lilia E lands. Announcing herself and saying, Oh, Pike, if you want to get away from this dive, you have to go through me. Pike is going to try to go through. And the respect comes out of Lilia. Who is going to stay happy with just bullying out the support. As we could dive this still. The E is not going to land onto the Pike. The Milio enhancement is there. So extra movement speed super useful on the... Lilia's ghost has been activated by Kais and she will not find anyone to even press auto attack on. Which is a little bit tragic because now ghost advantage coming up for the Zeri here and Zeri can use that very well in the upcoming team fights. As shutdown actually picked up here by the rumble onto the Talon. Very good. We do like to see that. Sidrani now showing herself in the bottom lane here looking for a play. As Zeri did go back to the base. Milio will have to get on Audi. As the Pike is hunting, the Kaisa is hunting too. Remember, if one hook hits, then that is Kaisa following up as well. But we are not going to go further in chase. Milio gonna position himself, look for a Q here. The Q does not land on anyone. And um, yeah, nothing will come of it as a power slide into the enemy team. And that is a dead Kaisa already. Exhaust proc way too late as the bonus range together with the Ghost and 
the Milio enchantment here will put this Zeri ahead. Two kills of the enemy Kaisa now for three and one. Very good stats. We also have the immortal shield bow or immortal shield bow. Hi, I like to call it. Available here as well as actually Demolish is going to be procced on that mid lane turret. Talon's not going to go in for that turret yet, so he will not be able to get that. But actually still ends up picking it up because Rumble was playing that a little bit safe. Trying to avoid the Ws here from the Talon. Our bot lane protagonists have been able to pick up their turret as well. And now we will probably see a switch of the bot lane into the mid lane here. Zeri recalling in a very dangerous spot. Will be taken by the W. Kaiser will not ult on top of that. Kaiser does ult over the wall now to make the Zeri go the other way, but... Kindred? What? I... I'm trying to question my... I can't question my ping. Yeah, yeah, Kaisa. Absolutely true. Red, red team surrendered. Five votes against zero. And that is the GG. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next Milio review tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you around. Stay awesome.